Hi, can you tell us your name? My name is William or Billy Nesson. And uh, you were involved in the uh, UC Berkeley anti-apartheid movement in the 80s. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the significance of the anti-apartheid movement? Well, I, I think, and having thought about it over many years, that the, I think that the strongest thing that, that comes to me now is that it was an assertion somehow that even though these people were far away and so different from us and, and so oppressed and poor, that there was a human connection, that there was a, we, we cared about them, that we were saying their lives were as important as ours. Um, now, of course, in, in the United States, not to say something on something of such clear racial oppression seemed to be morally wrong and uh, not in keeping with the, the, the movement that built up through the 20th century that we now call the Civil Rights Movement. So we saw it as an extension of that. And, and you know, we felt well, as, a, as a white person that not doing that was in a way saying to, you know, black Americans that they're also not as important as we white Americans.